Hi, it's Mrs. Arbach and India. India. And we're going to talk a little bit about what an insect is. So earlier, I got to look over here, that's right. <laughs> earlier, we were looking at our little jars of caterpillars and we had a couple of words that we learned from that. So remember the webby stuff that was in the jar? It's not a spider web, it's called silk. And they spin that to make sort of a little protective area for themselves, those, those little caterpillars, can, so they can protect themselves when they're on the leaves. Now, do you remember what frass is? My lovely picture. Boo boo. Yeah, it's caterpillar boo boo. Yeah, it's caterpillar boo boo. So we have a couple of new words, silk and frass. Now we're gonna learn a few more words today. Let me put this right here. So we're gonna look at a book called, the, the title of it is, What is an Insect? And I see a question mark here, so it's asking a question. What is an insect? This is by Jeff Bauer. So we are gonna look at what makes an insect an insect. Here we go, let me get, let me get to the beginning here. All about insects. Here's a nice little insect. It says, look at this incredible creature. Is it a monster? She's trying to get out. Is it a space alien? No, it is an insect. This is an insect called, India, do you remember what this one's called? A praying mantis. A praying mantis, right? And this is a hooded praying mantis. He looks like he has a little hood on it. So we're going to first look at the, our little friend, the ladybug here. What makes an insect an insect? First of all, insects have hard bodies called an exoskeleton. So we have, think about a skeleton. Our skeletons or our bones are inside our body. Can you feel your bones? They're inside, right? It's a skeleton. Theirs is on the outside. It's called an exoskeleton. So it's like a hard shell to keep their soft, gooey insides nice and safe. So they don't have any bones at all. They have a hard outer shell called an exoskeleton and they have soft, squishy bodies inside. Let's look at their body parts. Insect parts. Insects have three body parts. This picture is a little, this, this insect, this is called a Goliath beetle. He's a little tricky to see his separate body parts. So I'm gonna show you this fancy picture in just a minute. But he has a head. He has this sort of middle section here called a thorax. Can you say that? Thorax. And he has a sort of this bigger part here called an abdomen. If you ever hear somebody doing sit-ups, what are they working out in India? They're working their abs. They're working their abs, their abdominal muscles, their abdomen. Mm -hmm. So, oh, you're step she's gonna get real. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so they got three different body parts. They have, uh, what's on my head? One of these is called an antenna. When you have more than one, you have antennae. Anten yeah, antennae. A lot of people say antennas, but it's antennae. Isn't that weird? So one antenna, two antennae. Anten Very good. And how many legs do we see on here? How many legs do you see? She says six. Let's count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you have to have six legs to be an insect. I'll show you this, oh, the wings. Oh, let me show you the wings real quick. So insects also have wings, sorry. They also have wings. Here's a beautiful dragonfly. Some insects fly and some insects don't fly. Isn't that sad? If you have wings, you can't fly. But some of them do fly. So some of them have two wings and some of them have four wings. How many wings do you see on that dragonfly there? One, two, three, four. And here's a nice close-up picture of what those dragonfly wings look like. Isn't that neat? Okay, we are going to look a little bit closer at our, um, at our, isn't this lovely, oh, this picture? Oh, right? <laughs> she drew a four for us. So let's look at a picture at this beautiful picture that I made. It's a little bit easier to see. So we have our three body parts. What's this one called? This is called the, I wrote it here, head. 
And then this middle one, he kind of looks a little bit like a snowman, right? So here's his head. This middle one is the th 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 thorax. And this big bottom one is the abdomen, abdomen right? So head, thorax, abdomen. Okay, so how many body parts is that? Three. One, two, three. Good job. Now I pointed to one antenna, but it re insects have two antennae. Two antennae. And how many legs did they have? Do you remember how many legs? I pointed to one of the legs. There are six. India says six. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have some new words. Antenna, two, antennae, thorax, abdomen. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put these up here with our, with our new words. So to be an insect, you have to have six legs. Is this an insect? No. How do you know this is not an insect? Because the cat only has four legs. Okay, four legs. Does our cat have antennae? No, any wings? No. no. Head, thorax, abdomen? No. no. Okay. Okay, so if it has zero legs, it's not an insect. If it has a hundred legs, it's no. not an insect. It has to have how many? Six. Six legs. Okay, now it's time for wait. What? Weird. She's looking for the Okay, well, we have our period here. Period. The period. That means I'm just telling you something, right? Somebody's telling you something. <laughs> this just says wait. Look behind you. And do you remember the question <laughs> mark? The question mark means you want to know something. In this case, it says what? <laughs> and our exclamation point means maybe there's danger or something super exciting. In our case, it says weird. Like, you can't even believe it. So, wait. Laney, Laney, stop. Wait. What? Weird. Laney, stop being weird, Laney. In this case, we're going to look at a little weird creature. This is called the dung beetle. He's a beetle. He's an insect. So, he has two what? Antennae. Antennae. And he has a head. A th thorax and an abdomen. And he has how many legs? Six. Six legs. Okay. So this is a dung beetle. Do you know what the word dung means? Poop. It's animal poop. That's pretty weird. It rolls a ball of dung. Ew, that's weird. But then the dung beetle lays its eggs in there. Nice little cozy home for its little babies. So out of the eggs come the larvae, or the babies come out of the egg, and then they eat the poop. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. That's weird. Okay. So I'm wondering what kind of insects you might find at your house, in your yard, at your park, on your sidewalk. I don't know what you're gonna find, but make sure it has six legs. Otherwise, you could call it a bug or something else or a spider. I'm not sure what you have. But I wonder what you'll find around your house. You probably won't find a dung beetle. But you might find an ant or a grasshopper, something else. Okay, let me know what you find. Bye.